Corey. You okay? Yeah, sorry. Please don't apologize. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, oh, uh, sorry. Look. You're okay. So, why are we here? Come on! Hold on. You are so slow. It's icy. Excuses. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so to show up. Shut up. <laughs> Were you staring at the stranger just now? Maybe. I said, fuck off. Why are you even staring at it? I don't know. I always do. Everyone just agrees that she's beautiful. So, are we going to talk about it? Charlie, we should talk about the divorce. Hey, I'm sorry. Are you coming soon? I'll take your order in a minute, sir. I got caught off at work. That's okay. Do we have to do it today? I'd really like to talk to you. You cancel this. That wasn't my fault. Okay. Okay. So you'll... Yes. Yes. I'll be there. I told you it was icy. I am not accident prone like you. Oh, yeah, okay, tell that to your busted knee. It's actually busted. Oh, no, just banged it on the floor. Don't eat that. Let me touch it. Oh, haven't had that in a while. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, fuck off. Come on, you're worse than people at work. I know they come in with actual injuries. Shut up. Bitch! <laughs> How is it at work? A lot. I thought there were supposed to be less people in the shelter in January. Yeah, I mean, usually. Like, there's a pan, but just not anymore. We just overrun this month. Oh, well, it is a safe house, so I guess people feel safe there. I don't know. I mean, it's the same as last month, and probably the same as next month as well. You know, just the number of people just keeps rising. Every time. Just more people with, you know, nothing. You know, nothing, just the, the clothes on their back and sometimes their kids. And even worse is the young ones who come in on their own. Mirroring their parents' relationship on their own. Fooled by the idea of true love. True love, what a dangerous fucking idea. How about you anyway? How, how's work? DFS is having another half off sale. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm closing bonds, what you do. Bailey came up to me the other day. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's been seeing this girl for a while. She said that I was her favourite uncle, and that's why she told me first. You're also her only gay uncle. Let me have just this one thing. <laughs> Can we talk about our divorce without you trying to run away this time? <laughs> I wasn't running away, I was just testing the ice. Uh, uh, one night. We'll talk about it when it's over, but can we just have one night where we pretend that we're normal, everything is normal? assholes as usual. This one guy comes in, asks where the toilets are, despite, despite the clear signing saying they're downstairs. Then, he asks for a Stella. I'm like, sorry sir, we don't have Stella. So he asks for a car link. Yeah, what a classic move. Anyway, <laughs> he goes and sits by the slots machine and gets this. Asks me to change a five pound note all for 20 p's. What a weirdo. Yeah, I thought you were on later, like, on the clothes. Oh, barely covered for me. Oh, that's nice of her. Yeah, I guess. Good nice tonight. <laughs> oh, I think they should really tear this thing down. 
Stranger. That's such a dumb name. It's meaningful. Yeah? What does it mean? It means she's a stranger. <laughs> Should I? <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Flu? No, just a tickle in my throat. Does it sound nice? It isn't. It's probably because you're cold. <coughs> Sorry. So why are we here? I fancied a walk. It's two degrees. Of course it would be, it's late. Why exactly are we here? We could have met yours or mine. I wanted to meet here. You didn't want to be alone with me? Jem! No, I get it. Jem, it's not like that! Then how is it? You know, sometimes you make me feel like a dick. No, Jem! Well, I guess I am just an asshole because I love you and you don't even want to be with... I'm sorry. It's okay. I just get so angry that I can't help myself. Yeah. It's all this pressure. I feel like it's, it's overwhelming and I, I feel like nobody likes me. That's not true, Jen. Like your friends. They don't like me, they hate me. They keep on putting all those ideas in your head. They don't like us see, seeing us be happy together. Hmm. Honestly, I don't even get why you keep on hanging out with them. It's not like you have anything in common. They don't have your best interests at heart. They're just using you. Hmm. I'm trying to be honest with you. I'm always honest with you. You need to cut the people out of your life that shouldn't be in it. I think we should break up. What? Bailey? That's okay. That's okay. That's not... Yeah, you yeah. go. Okay. Just please meet me by the stranger, okay? Bailey? But... Jem? Oh, Jem! Um, hi, Jordan. Who do you see, Bailey? Oh, I think you're still at work. Did to pick up a few extra hours? What? She was supposed to meet me. Oh, shit. Uh, she had to come meet because uh, someone wanted me out early. Do you know how long she'll be? really depends on how busy it is. Speaking of, I'm kind of busy here. It's about a half hour walk from the pub. I'm sure she'll be there to meet you. Jordan, hmm? she's kind of important. Sorry. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Like what? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Realistically? I, I don't know. Would you fucking think for once, Rory? I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what to do. What do you want? I feel like... I'm so overwhelmed. I, I just don't think we're good together. It's bullshit! I am the only one who cares for you. No one else was there for us. No one else was there for you. Who else was there for you when you were alone? Huh? Who? Jem. Who else is going to be there for you? No one. That's who. Jem, I just can't do this anymore. Do what? You're a different person when no one else is around. You? You're the kind of person who scares me when it's just us. You're crazy. I am not a different person when no one is around. You sound like you're making things up. Why would I? Oh, you tell me. I just think it's best for both of us. You're fucking lying. What's going on here? Nothing. How the fuck do you know this guy? I don't, not really. Who are you? No. This is private, please. I... No, 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 you were just yelling at them. That's not okay. It's private. 
Well, we don't feel comfortable leaving you two alone, so maybe you should leave. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Screaming at people like that? Oh, you can get fucked, mate. Okay. You come in, Rory. Jim, I... <laughs> Fucking forget it. I think that guy served me at the bar earlier today. Any good? No, I was a shit Guinness. Why would you do that? Or a shit Guinness. <laughs> Get involved! What, what do you mean? I, I was handling it. Rory. No, Ben. Say thanks. You're not allowed to tell people that. Sorry, Rory, I'm sorry. We, we heard the commotion and just wanted to help. We didn't mean to get involved like that, but with all due respect, it seemed like you two were breaking up anyway. Gemma is sensitive. You have to handle things carefully with him. Sounds like it. I didn't ask you to come over here and interfere. And what would have happened if we hadn't? Calm down, Charlie. Do you still want to be with him? Isn't he the reason you ended up at Safe House? I don't know. I just want... I want to be happy with him again. I want to stop feeling like... like... What, like you're treading on eggshells? You're not always trying to keep him happy and uh, keep the peace? It, Jem, I should... I... Jem? Fuck! You're such a social worker. I see people like them at work, all the time. They come into work. You can't save everyone. You're everything. What's that supposed to mean? Why do people like that stay together? Love? It's fucking dangerous. It's not a reason. It shouldn't be. <clears throat> well, some people can't help how they feel. No, they can't. And that's when people get hurt. She's looking off at the sea for her long-lost lover. Uncle Jamie said she's glowing into the pub the other side of town for her alcoholic partner. Yeah, my dad always said she was looking at the chip to see if there was a cue. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not very romantic, is it? Whatever. Speaking of my uncle, I told him about us. Oh. Really? Uh, he was happy. It says he wants to meet you. Right. Jordan? It's just... What? It's just... It's a bit much, don't you think? You introduced me to your man the other day. I... <laughs> Not like that, though. Like what, then? Like... Funnies. You shag. Bailey. Jordan. <laughs> what do you even want? I want us to be fine again. No. Why did you ask me who? Why did you make me walk 30 minutes in the freezing cold just to meet you? Um, we need to stop doing what we're doing. We need to put a pause on it. What? I've met someone. She's really great and I want to see how it goes. Two months. I waited around and followed your beck and call and waited for you to be ready. <laughs> Two months, I followed you around like a lost little puppy for you to dump me when you found someone. I can't dump you if we weren't official. <laughs> oh, come on, you can't get angry with me. No. No, I, I will. You led me on for two months. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You would 
hold me and kiss me and be so fucking coupley with me, so then what? Tell me you want to put us on pause because you found someone you actually want! Want on pause is the wrong word to use! No, it was the right word for what you were doing. It was the wrong fucking thing to do. But you can't just drop people like that, Jordan. I'm not your personal sex toy you can discard when it's convenient <clears throat> for you. Did you even care about me? Of course I didn't. Are you sure? Because I know we've been friends for two years and I never did anything despite liking you in that way because I respected not only the friendship but you as a person. Where was that respect for me, Jordan? Where? You knew that it was just supposed to be sex. Why did you treat me like more, like we were more? You want me to treat you like you're not a human being? You can be casual. Treat me like a human being and not leave me on. So what do you want me to do now then, my Bailey? This is it for us. Even as friends. I never should have kissed you back. Oh, careful! Are you okay? Bailey? Oh! Hi! Jamie! Charlie! Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Yes, I... um... What are you looking at? Nothing, sorry, we're just going, we were just trying to talk about something. Shouldn't you be getting home, because it's getting dark? I, I was just going. What's wrong? Like, actually? I already said nothing. <laughs> of course, that's why you're arguing with your girlfriend here in the middle of the park, isn't he? She's not my girlfriend. Charlie. Hey. Okay. Ex-girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's not really my ex-girlfriend, either. <laughs> <laughs> No harm, no foul! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry, please just ignore him. Today's just been a bit of a... Swat? Yes, hey. shut up. <laughs> what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just... Me and Jordan, we've been kind of seeing each other for a few months now. And I really like her, and the way she was. I thought she liked me, but then she would stop with me, and then start again. And we keep doing that, and I just really... I wanted to talk to her, and she wanted to talk to me tonight, and... Well, and it didn't go how you thought it would? The worst part is it kind of did. I kind of knew this was how it was going to happen. I saw it coming. Why did you meet up then? Closure. I don't know. Jeez. Honey, closure doesn't exist. Why are you both being like this? I'm being serious. You know, closure isn't really a thing. Look, you probably already spent you know, days, weeks, months thinking about what happened between you two already. And all another meeting does is just give me more things to <laughs> agonise over. But she's not going to have the perfect answers, or the answers you want to hear. The things just end, and we have to let them. But I wanted her to know how hurt she made me feel. Yes, but does that get rid of how hurt you're feeling? What do you know? You're two guys, we're two girls. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you two are being weird. I'm going home.
You really are terrible with kids. And teenagers, I am terrible with teenagers. Way too many hormones. What, do you think kids are easier to deal with? 100%, kids have two emotions, happy and crying, but teenagers, <laughs> way too many. No, I'm great. <laughs> way too many. Oh yeah, planning on going for dad of the air with that parent, you know. Why not? Be great with kids. Be great dad. You should have just let me handle it. Look, I wanted to help. She's my niece, Charlie. And I am related to her by marriage. What? Nothing. My knees still hurt. <laughs> Sit down. Poor Bailey. First heartbreak's always the worst. I don't think they get any easier. Some hurt more than others. Maybe. I... Personally, I just don't see the point in unnecessary hurt. Uh, they have this uh, chez Lange at work that's currently on offer. <laughs> uh, um, I could use my staff discount well, on top of it. I mean, you're not supposed to lay it with them, but I just don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Going great with these uh, cushions that my sister's trying to get rid of from Ikea. It's all a very olive colour scheme. I really hate it. Oh. Get them a navy, Charlie. <laughs> She really is beautiful, you know. She always creeped me out. Really? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a statue. It, it reminds me of, you know, those things in Doctor Who. <laughs> but everyone finds her beautiful. Trip advisor, everyone. Oh, well, trip advisor's <laughs> everyone now, suddenly. Shut up. So you really never found her beautiful? No, not really. We had our first kiss here. Yeah, I know. It creeped me out then and all. Why didn't you say anything? Because you found it beautiful. Plus, you know, with, with a name like The Stranger, it just sounds more like a horror movie character more than anything. You know, like, look out, it's The Stranger. <laughs> Can we ever fix this? I don't think we can. Why? You heard why. Charlie. Please, Jamie, I just want to know. I've told you before. Well, oh, you'll have to tell me again and again and again and again. Again until we figure this out because I just do not understand it. We were so happy, Jamie, so fucking happy. Word, Charlie. What changed? What did I do? You didn't do We should go home. Home? Your home? My home? Our home? The couch that I've been sleeping on for the past month because I didn't want to kick you out of our house. Which home, Jamie? I can't. I can't. Oh, stop running from this. Stop pushing me into this, okay? Please, Jamie. Look, Charlie. That's why I just I want to know. I can't. And it's the least that I deserve. Look, you just need to. I make... fell out of love. I didn't want it anymore. Don't ask me what happened. Or, you know, who happened. Or whatever, I don't know why. I don't know. I, I don't... I don't want us anymore, Charlie. I don't love you anymore. Like, I... I still care for you. Like, no, I still want you to be happy. But that's not going to be with me, okay? That, it can't be with me anymore.
Thank you.